bandwidth is a term which indicates that how many number of bits are going to transfer number of bits per second that means a network how much speed it can send the bits for example you want to send a message to your friend that is hello now this hello is not transferred in the same manner it will be transferred into in the form of bits that is and ones and zeros format right now this message can be transferred through a network using a channel using a channel now how much speed these bits are transferring to the receiver is called as number of bits per second this we called as a bandwidth so normally mbps gbps kbps you listen these terms in the market that is mbps gbps kbps bps stands for what bits per second that means a network can transfer how many number of bits per second to the receiver is called as the bandwidth okay for example it is measured in the form of bps so the measurement is what bps for example if you want to buy a sugar or something what you say you say 1 kg or half kg as or no 50 grams like this so what is this this is called as a measurement as or no for weight similarly this bps is a measurement for the bandwidth so if you want to say the speed of the your network connection you should say in the form of the bps bits per second how many number of bits can be transferred to the receiver that means from your channel to the receiver you should say in the form of the bits per second for example i am saying that my mobile capacity of 3 bps sorry 300 bps that means what 300 bits per second that means what for 1 second it can transfer 300 bits at a 1 one, 1 one second lo 300 bits ee enti bits e kada so 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 6 bits unnai ikkada ante ee 6 bits entha seconds lo velthundi receiver ki anedi cheppedi enti bandwidth ipudu 300 bits per second ante enti okka second lo ilanti ones and zeros enni transfer avuthay anta 300 transfer avuthay ante evarki receiver ki okay clear ardhamainda now consider an example for example this is a road with a wider of with a wider of uh, say 50 cm with a wider of 50 cm now if a car is coming in this direction so next time is what happens only one car go in the right direction that means what you say this is one way so you are coming in this direction you are going in the right direction if you the like that we say two way if only only one car is coming no car either can go what you say this is one way now what you say this is two way for example if i increase the road size to 100 cm what happen if the traffic will be there on this road here if you consider traffic will be there here traffic will be there why because you have less width road here if you have more width road here here no traffic will be there no traffic why because so road is very much wider so any car can go in this direction and in this direction and in this direction also so as much of bits per seconds are going to increase the network traffic also very less for example i have 1000 bits what i have 1000 bits i have i want to transfer 1000 bits if the my mobile capacity is this how much how many seconds i need i need 300 plus 300 plus 300 900 300 per second 300 per second and 300 per second so for 1 second 1 second 1 second so 3 seconds i need to transfer 900 bits more 100 seconds are there 100 bits are there for that 
consider half second is required. So how much time I require to transfer thousand bits? Three and half seconds I need. If I have, if I have my mobile capacity of five hundred bits per second, if I increase the speed of my mobile network, so five hundred bits per second. So how much time is required to transfer thousand bits? Simply five hundred plus five hundred. Two seconds are required. That means what? How much speed you are increasing whenever you are transferring a data from one device to another device through a network? If you are increasing the speed of the network, then the time will be taken to send a message is very less. As the example we have discussed here, if the wide road is lesser wide, traffic will be there. If the road is very wide. Compared to here, then there will be no traffic. Similarly, here also, if you increase the capacity of your network, then the data will be transmitted very speedily. Clear? So this we call it as a bandwidth. So bandwidth means what? How many number of bits you can transfer through a channel is called as the number of bits per second. Right? Now the bandwidth is measured in the form of what bits per second. It is also called as BUD, B A U D. So it is also called as what BUD. But BUD means bits per second. BUD can also be defined as bits per second. So how you measure the BUD rate? BUD rate you can measure as Bird rate is equals to bits by time. That means number of bits you transfer by time. That call is what bits per second. Per means what division. Bits per second. That we call it as what bird. So this bandwidth can be defined as three types. So this bandwidth can be defined as three types. That is Broadband, narrowband, and voice band. So that is what first broadband, voice band, and narrowband. So first we'll discuss about the narrow band. Narrow band means the bandwidth, whatever bandwidth you measured, that is in the form of bits per second. If your network and if your mobile or any device is capable of sending only low rate, that means very slowly, minimum forty to three hundred bits. If your device is able to send. Minimum forty to three hundred bits, right? Then the thing is called as narrow band. So this narrow band is very slow and it is useful in telephone graphic. In telegraphics, we are going to use this narrow band. So this narrow band is very slow. Why? Because it sends only forty to three hundred bits per second. So it is useful only in the telegraphics, right? Next, come to the voice band. So this voice voice band is somewhat better compared to narrow band. Why? Because this is from three hundred to Ninety six hundred bits per second. So it can transfer three hundred to nine thousand six hundred bits per second. And this is also this is very slow. This is slow. This is slow, and it is useful only in telecommunications. It is useful in what telecommunications. So voice band is what three hundred to nine thousand six hundred. Bits per second it can transfer. It works very slowly and it is useful in telecommunications. So as the name itself, voice, voice indicates what we are communicating. Clear? 
Now next is what? Broadband. So this broadband is very famous and very easy and very high speed capability it have in any network as we have uh, online service centers or me sevas or our mobiles or any personal computers if you have then we go for the broad broadband only so it is able to send more than 1 million it is able to send more than 1 million bits per second it is able to send more than 1 million bits per second so compare here, here 40 to 300, here 300 to 9600, here more than 1 million bits per second. So this broadband is very fast and very costly. So why? Because its speed is more, so it is very costly and it works very fastly. So then we call it as this as a broadband. Clear this one? Narrow band, voice band, broadband.